I think this video has been six years in the making. But what to do, Nine Empire TTC YouTube Cowboy fans. Uh, I'll just make this short. It's my lunch break. So I just wanted to do this real fast. Try to save me some time. Great win by the 49ers yesterday. 2017 over the Dallas Cowboys. Wasn't perfect. I didn't like how DeMarco Murray was able to run over our run defense, which usually is legit. So I don't know what was wrong with them yesterday. I also thought we created too many penalties. Some stupid, some deservingly so. And you know, I wish maybe we could have added another score or two in the second half, step on their throats. But I, I, I can see where we were coming from in the second half because when we were up 28-3, to I thought we had this game. And then all we had to do was just pretty much play smart football and kill the clock. So, you know, when it all boils down to it, I'm, I'm cool with that. You know, it would have been nice to see maybe a score here or there. But as long as we were keeping the clock and giving them less time to work with what they had, th that was good with me. Uh, defensively, I mean, other than the run game, I thought the secondary did a, a pretty good job. Uh, forced Romo into three interceptions in the, in the first half. And then that fumble by DeMarco Murray that Cully took to the house was awesome. Offensively, I, I know it's just one game. Kaepernick looked a lot more poised out there to me. And like I said, it was just one game because opening game last year, he threw for over 400 yards. And then you knew how his season went after that. It took him a while to throw for over 200 yards. So I, I could be wrong, but he just looked a little bit more calm and collected out there. And all I can do is just hope he builds off that. Other than that, that's pretty much all I got about thoughts about the game. Um, wasn't really much to talk about. Well, well there pretty much is, but I know all of y'all done touched on it. And I just want to, you know, maybe just give my little couple tidbits right there. Uh, but before I get up out of here, um, give some shout outs, you know, some of the Cowboy fans. Um, my man T. Spence, we had a bet. Yeah, we talked on Facebook. Uh, shout out to you. Uh, shout out to my homeboy, Simus. What's up, player? Uh, Jay Wad, Michael Rand, Hidden City, um, Cowboy TD, uh, Mosh. Um, so many of you motherfuckers. <laughs> But if, if I missed y'all, sorry, you know who you are. Um, I know that was brutal for you guys to watch, but it, yeah, I know y'all, y'all still got a pretty good, decent team, you know, and, you know, so I guess back to the drawing board and, you know, good luck the rest of the way. A special shout out to a couple of the naysayers. And I'm saying this because, uh, excuse me. Just in a little bit. Yesterday morning, you know, when I was getting into my game mode, I started hearing a report that Jim Harbaugh was losing the players in the locker room. And it just amazes me how the national media loves to stir shit up. And maybe being a 49er fan, I like to look, I tend to look at things from a microscopic point of view. So I, try to analyze every little thing but but man why, why couldn't this story have dropped like maybe at the beginning of training camp it has to drop on opening day really <laughs> well if there's any sense that Harbaugh's losing the locker room it didn't show yesterday oh yeah and also for some of you fucking haters out there that just <laughs> love to worry about my team when your team is playing somebody else, we're not even on your fucking schedule yet. 
Yeah, whatever. Well, you know who you are, and we'll we'll deal with you when the time is right. You know, and that's the best way to shut. That's the best way to shut motherfuckers up. They're still gonna talk or whatever, but in the end, when you look at that scoreboard, we handled our business, and that's all. That's all that matters to me. So I, I'm just gonna leave it at that. And finally, before I get up out of here, um, I gotta give a special shout out. To my boy C. McCarver Jr., uh, I kicked it with him yesterday at his spot. Had like a gathering with uh, the Niner Empire Fairfield chapter. We had a great time. Had some drink. Had some good food. Watched the Niners kick the Cowboys' ass. And you know, and there was a few Cowboy fans there too. They they were pretty cool. You know, and it was all in good fun. But um, yeah, C. McCarver, man, it was good kicking with you, homie. And it was also good being able to, a couple weekends back, doing that Niner Empire flag football thing where we just went out there, just balled, didn't win the title. But, you know, we, we still have fun out there, and it was cool, cool kicking it with you. And hopefully we can do that again soon, you know, with some of these away games, just, you know, hook up kick back, just have a good time, and, you know, just watch our Niners play. So big shout out to you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having everybody else. Um, yeah, it was great. It, it was really great. You know, just meeting some other Niner fans and just watching football. So um, I'm going to get with you later and rest of the Niner empire, you know, JD and Sacktown, uh, Danny, Rest of you homeboys. Yeah, shout out to y'all. That was a great win yesterday. Osmosis, I know you were happy. <laughs> you were probably see walking up in Idaho, weren't you? I I'm just fucking with you. All right, y'all. That that's pretty much all I got. Um, if I I'll try to get some up later this week about the Bears. You know, if I don't, you know, you're gonna see me after the game or the the day after the game. So, you know, until then, Niner Empire, one team, one family. One goal. All right, I'll get with y'all next time. Late.